Everybody, our our first intro, Greg. It was amazing. I love was that, that intro. Oh my it was goodness! Like so much fun. <laughs> I, I think we we're supposed to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, we are, well, <laughs> well, welcome everybody to the show. Um, it's amazing to have you with us because if some of you actually might know, I'm not, Greg. I know we've spilled it a couple times. So some of you might know, but this is a brand new show, Greg. I feel like yeah. we got to give you a a high five. I know, yeah, a virtual high five, or not virtual, virtual, but yeah, however five. we can do it. However <laughs> we can do it, we will take <laughs> it. We will take it. And I see uh, Joshua, a cross-sex fighter, joining from YouTube, and he's like, huh? A new show? A new show! This a new show. A new show. Yeah, I, we had, I uh, like a few people got the spoilers on it, but this is, uh, this is it. We're launching right now. This is launching. I, I Honestly, Greg, I wasn't sure if we were going to have takeoff today, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I think we we made it through. We got it on. We're we're going. I mean, I think everybody's seeing it right now. I'm just excited for it. We, we've been talking about this for so long. I know. I feel like we could create a country together, Greg. I don't know. I mean, I think we're good <laughs> at like doing stuff last minute, doing stuff <laughs> early, doing stuff like, yeah. It's all Winging good. it a little bit, yeah. Winging it a yeah. little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, for those of you who aren't familiar with the one and only, my buddy Greg Nibbler here, you can see him. He, We're actually not in this, well, you probably guessed it, but we're not geographically in the same state right now. But I got to say, Greg, this is like so exciting for me because I have been a fan of yours for a very, very long time. Um, ever since you allowed me to, to step foot virtually into your studio. <laughs> allowed i think it's more uh, i was lucky enough to have you step foot in that studio um but this is yeah i mean it, it's it's something that you know just working with you for so long and it's the same thing i've always wanted to do some more stuff our segments were always fun and for anybody who doesn't know i worked for a company called digital trends i hosted a live show there for years like 500 and some episodes of that and that's where winnie and i kind of met was on that show and then after leaving that company and starting my own company we still kept in contact and and when he was a guest on my show, I was a guest on her show. And finally it's like, well, why don't we just do the show together and and cut out everything and uh, and do it direct. And that's what we're doing right now with the loop. So it's, it's really, really fun to have this off the ground and just kind of bring both of us together. Bring both of us together. And so what we're going to talk about on this show is the things that we think that are going to be really exciting to you because they excite us. We're going to talk a little business. We're going to talk a bunch of tech. And you know Greg's going to bring space into this. It's really <laughs> exciting. I see a lot of our friends joining us. Hello, Vicky. It's Drake on Facebook. I see Robin Stevens. A whole bunch of people. And we're streaming on like, you know, we used to stream my show on eight different platforms. I think we're literally streaming on about 12 different platforms. So super excited to have you join us on the first show i know greg we gotta get started what do you think yeah let's do it let's let's roll on through this and yeah as we said everybody it's our first show please give us feedback drop in the comments but yeah let's uh let's talk about uh what you've got going on there winnie i know you've got some yeah. stuff to talk about I love it. I love it, Greg. And thank you, Greg, for reminding everybody. We to keep you in the loop and keep us in the loop. We want to hear from you. So you know what? Since it's our first show, let's do something special. I got some gift cards to give out. I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and give us comments. I want to see who gives us the most comments, positive, negative, whatever. If we make up if mistakes, definitely call us up on it as well. Let's start with the market, okay? Tell you how the market closed because you know we usually do that because it's actually important. It's part of your money. The Dow closed up 141 points. Woo! The NASDAQ down one. And S&P up four points, my friend. So why did the market do well? Greg, do you know? I do not know why. I, this is why I listen to you on everything that you have to say when it comes to financial news. I am by all means no expert. So I really don't know why it is. 
You didn't know. Okay, that's okay. I think many of us didn't know. But, well, according to, to what we know so far, you know, the two big concerns that we've been having are, of course, inflation, right? When things get a lot more expensive, we're seeing gas prices go up, we're seeing prices of wood grow, go up, grow up, go up <laughs> as well. But here's the thing, you know, we're also experiencing record job openings. And in fact, 8% uh, uh, increase to 8.1 million in March. So a lot more uh, jobs available, this is as reported by the U.S. Labor Department. Also, here's some good news. Unemployment numbers actually were awesome last week. Only 406,000 Americans filed newly for unemployment. That number came down significantly. If you remember uh, just a couple months ago, that's like almost half of what we're looking at. So really good numbers. A lot of people getting back to work thanks to the uh, pandemic sort of uh, vaccines, right? A lot of good news coming in. So what we're also seeing now is a lot of states are doing away with the federal government uh, enhanced unemployment benefit that extra $300. In fact, that's in over 23 states. Um, so a lot of good news. But on other matters, I really wanted to make sure Greg, I told you about this. Because, you know, I, I have you been vaccinated? I have been. Yes. Okay. Me too. And and maybe those of you who are watching, you know, if you've been vaccinated, this might be good news for you too, because it's kind of exciting. For those of you who are vaccinated, there's a lot of cool freebie opportunities out there. You may have heard like states like Ohio and other states are letting you participate in like a million dollar lottery. Well, if you don't live in those states, like Greg and I don't, uh, there's other benefits too, because United Airlines is going to be giving out 30 free round trip tickets anywhere on coach or first class anywhere in the world. And all you have to do is actually jump on United's website, you upload your vaccine information and boom, you're in. And then come July 1st, they're actually then going to go back into the pool of people who submitted uh, trying to win this. And then they're going to pick five people to get free two tickets for one whole year of free travel anywhere that United flies. Pretty, that is, pretty awesome. That's amazing. I mean, I don't know if, if you know this about me, but I do love free stuff and also traveling. So this is like hitting two amazing things for me and I'm vaccinated. So I'm definitely going to enter that. I mean, I, I want any excuse to travel anywhere. I think both of us want that. Probably a lot of people do, you know, going through what we've been through. So to get 30 free flights or however many it is, that's amazing. I would use one every weekend. I would go like, I would try to see how many places I could go in the right? short amount of time. Yeah. Okay. So, Anywhere. so Greg, let me ask you this. Like, okay. So actually the grand, so there's, they're going to pick five people for the grand prize and that gives you one whole year of unlimited travel. So Greg, what's the first place you would go to if you want? Oh man, that's hard to say. I'll tell you though, I would like to probably go, go to Mexico. I think sitting on a beach sounds like a really really nice idea right now and that that may be the first trip the first of many but i think yeah i, I would probably head down to mexico you know mexico sounds really really awesome plus i hear the food there is incredible i'd yeah. probably go to hawaii but you know it's just me oh and another thing i should also add this because i think this is good to know too cvs if you got like i got my vaccine at cvs but if you got your vaccine at cvs they're also doing this thing where they're giving out over a thousand prizes if you got vaccinated there and includes actually trips to uh the a norwegian cruise actually i see my good friend suzanne brown joining us from linkedin suzanne how's that sound a Norwegian cruise for your whole family. I mean, and oh, okay, Greg, you might like this. VIP tickets to next year's Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like everything that you just said. I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> I didn't get my shot at CVS, but I'll go get another one there if, I, if that's what it takes. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll double up. I don't care. <laughs> Here, take my <laughs> <worth> <laughs> Well, there's not that the boosters, right? So maybe that other okay. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. I'll fly with my free ticket down to a CVS because we don't have one around here, I don't think. And then I'll get another <laughs> shot. It all makes sense. It all works out. <laughs> well, you know, so Greg, here's one of the perks of having three kids, right? So my husband and three kids, we, we have more op we have more opportunity. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You have a lot more entries. So I feel like maybe there's some kind of thing we could do there with the rules on this. But, you know, you got to play the cards you have. You got it, right? Maybe, you know, adopt a, adopt a pet, you know, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I thought they were getting one for dogs. You know, that would work. I can I can count that. Okay. Like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever I'm it takes. Doing. 
All right, Greg. Well, tell me, like, tell let's talk tech because okay. I know you've got a lot to share. I'm excited to hear what you're going to share with us. Yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff, and you know, it kind of relates to to what we're talking about, like getting out and traveling, but just you know, everybody's trying to figure out where things are going, how what's work going to be like, how are we going to communicate with each other, and that's what Google had their uh, conference last week. So it's called Google I/O conference, and it's it's a developers conference. Normally, it's honestly, it's a lot of boring coding stuff for people who make amazing <laughs> projects. Cool. So, I mean, a lot of that is is what it covers, but they also showcase some things that are more uh, stuff that we can use right away or stuff in the near future. And that includes one of these. It's called Project Starline. And essentially, it's a new way to how they envision communicating. Like we're we're now used to Zoom. We're used to this kind of interaction, but it's taking it up to another level. And it's developing some hardware to go along with some high-end software. So the hardware is some cameras that they've got that uh, they've been using at the Google offices, I guess, internally. But then the software does this. So you sit down at, say, a desk. You've got a monitor in front of you that almost looks like it's a window. And it does a 3D rendering of the person on the other end. So it's really like you're looking through a window at someone. And it's this amazing software. And yeah, you can kind of see it here in some of the demonstrations. Like, that's a video screen but it gives them the depth and makes it feel like somebody's actually right there and you get all that extra interaction from it. And they said that this is something that could be coming out, you know, maybe later this year, they're kind of circumspect about a lot of that, but definitely something they're working on. And I think it's a really interesting, um, I got caught looking at it right there. So it's fascinating. Uh, but I think it's a really interesting kind of evolution of that, of that technology. Yeah. That's actually so cool, Greg. It almost seems like Zoom to the next level. In fact, I see my good friend Phil Koch on Facebook. Phil, if we get this, I want to definitely do this 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 thing with you because this this looks so so cool. By the way, um, you know, um, Phil and I actually we work together when we're doing stuff with DreamWorks Animation. I feel like this is right in their alley. So so tell us, Greg, like. Did you get to? Did you get a chance to test this out? Or I'm guessing you're in line for this. But do we have an idea of price point or anything like that yet for Starline? Unfortunately, we don't because they they revealed it and they said there's more coming later this year. So right now, I think it's mostly internal as far as testing. But if they're saying more later this year, that means they're probably going to ramp this up for something or some kind of use case. But you mentioned DreamWorks. That's the other thing I was thinking about with this too. Is all the other use cases with that kind of AI, that kind of 3D rendering, like video games, you know, animation, Ooh. there's so many possibilities. Oh, and that's yeah. what they're showing us. You know, who knows what's behind the scenes that they that they're not showing us yet. But and this is just just Google with all these other companies working on it too. It's just it's really cool to see the evolution oh, of this oh, kind of cool. tech. Well, you know what else was really cool about that, Greg, is I love how you don't have to wear hardware for this, right? Yeah. Like the big goggles or headset, and you can literally just sit there. And this this would be great, especially if you think about, right, especially since we've gone through COVID and we have a lot of elders at home who haven't been able to see their grandkids or their kids, to be able to do that, they could actually sit there. I guess this is almost necessary because who knows, we might, we might you know, reshuffle this again in the future. Yeah. I mean, entirely possible. I think with the way things have changed too, you know, I think going back to the office as we did before, I think, I feel like that's forever changed. I think it, there's going to be some kind of mix of both going forward. Um, at least that's what I, it feels like. Obviously nobody knows for sure, but I think people have gotten used to working from home. So this could definitely be something that, that would, would change, you know, and add to that. So maybe that kind of mix home office uh, work environment. I know. And now that you're saying that, Greg, it's making me think like, what if like my team is like 10 people, right? It, and right mm -hmm. now we're all remotely at home. But if we're some way, like literally we could all be at home, but we could actually turn and it feels like, hey, there's Curtis and here's Rebecca. And then, but we would yeah. still be remote. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. It just gives that extra feeling of being in person with somebody, but still being remote rather than, you know, the Zoom screen that we're all used to. And just Absolutely. having that, yeah, in that depth. So that's one thing, and I thought that was pretty cool to to bring up. But I am curious, you know, what people think about that. If that's something they would want to get. Uh, some of the other things, though, that they talked about, there was um, also an update to Google Live, which I think, or Live Live View, excuse me, I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, that is something that I think is really really cool too. And this is they rolled this out last year originally, so it's part of Google Maps. It works on iOS too, not just Android, so everybody can use it. And it was the original idea is just to kind of overlay directions for people and, and give it um, 
a little bit more in-depth directions as far as you can use your actual camera. So it overlays it over real life. So it's, it's augmented reality is essentially what it is. So you'd have like an arrow saying, oh, go this way. And you're looking at a building in real time. Now they're updating it so you've got even more things that are going on with it where you can walk down a street, you know, and if you think this is geared like maybe towards tourist tourism, you can walk down a street and say, oh, there's a restaurant. I wonder what they have. The menu pops right up. You can see what the what people order the most of right there. There's a building or a landmark and you're not sure what that is. Boom, you've got all the info and it does it all in real time and translating you know, say you're in another country and you know, the language, translate it right there. I mean, it's really fun. And you can try this out now too for a, a lot of people. It's, I think it's gonna slowly roll out to some devices, but you can try it out and it's it's pretty cool just seeing what you can do with it, you know, and you're still seeing things. So you're not gonna walk into stuff as often. Like, <laughs> so you're you were thinking about me when you said that i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> no, me too i am i am totally guilty of that i am one of those people i know i need to do better but uh, i've walked into a couple of holes before that's <laughs> amazing greg that's amazing i'm so glad you shared that with me it kind of it made me really happy like, i definitely want to check this out because like like first off you know I'm I'm a good driver, but I'm not so great with directions. So be able to see like landmarks, right? There there's an in and out over there, and I go then that like helps a lot. And you can see the parking yeah. structure. But not only having that translation at different countries, goodness, the travelers yeah. and us, right? Like sometimes there's anxiety, like okay, I don't want to go there because I don't really speak the language, and I feel like I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll just. It just won't, it'll be a little messy. But now yeah. that it's in my phone, and again, we don't have to have another uh, piece of equipment, right? It's literally yeah. on our smartphones, which I know it's an extension of our hands these days. It yeah. is, yeah. It's it's all integrated into there. It's that one device, you know, that's essentially where we're heading. And that's both Apple and Google and every other phone manufacturer, you know, kind of yeah. bringing it into that one thing. Um, you know, just don't drop it or break it. And that's another thing I'm guilty of, but that's, you know, I, I think it's, I think it is pretty cool though, having that all in there. Oh, there's one other thing that I found uh, really beneficial too. And it's, if you are traveling somewhere and say you're staying at a hotel, but you just kind of wander off and go through the streets and can't remember where to go, it'll give you a little note of where your hotel is. So you can okay. see it and guide you back over there. Not that you can't do that now, but it's kind of cool just having a reference point that you, it know, is. you pull it up. Yeah. So it, it's fun and it's, it's all part of this augmented reality AI push, which I am a huge fan of augmented reality and, and where they can go. And for anybody who doesn't know, like this is AR, this is augmented reality right here. You know, this is going to sound funny to you, Greg, or maybe it won't sound funny to you, but I kind of hope this technology also goes into different structures because I remember the first time I hit South Coast Plaza Mall, it's so huge. Like I was in one wing. I couldn't remember. Like my husband was in the other wing. I I, I was like, I'm just going to stay put and you're going to have to find me because I don't know how I can get back to where you are. And I'm hoping that th this, <laughs> I know Josh was laughing, but I'm hoping they, you know, they go above and beyond. I remember like certain conferences, you go to these really large, you know, you know, uh, when I did Adobe Summit, these huge hotels, right? You're, you're like, you, you get lost because everything looks oh, the same. Yeah. It to be so powerful. Oh, I, well, they are actually working on that. There's some airports that already have it uh, as part of them. I can't remember which airports it was. There's oh, a few of those. There's a few, yeah, and a few other things. I mean, think about like Las Vegas, mentioning conventions for those right? Vegas conventions. I mean, going mm -hmm. from hotel to hotel, it's so easy to get lost. That would be awesome to have that okay. kind of guiding you through there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it would have been nice. I, I did get lost at Adobe Summit in Las Vegas and it wasn't pretty, but you know, <laughs> I'm excited. This is, this is why, this is why I love hearing you share these things because to be honest with you, I was like reading financial. I didn't, I didn't know this about Google. This is really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's fun to see where it's going and what people are using it for. I mean, I think, and I don't think this is like some bold prediction. This is kind of where it's heading, but eventually you're gonna have this kind of stuff in uh, glasses. There's already a couple of companies that have AR glasses out there that incorporate a little bit of that. I mean, there's people working on contact lenses that will have this. So we go full, you know, black mirror style uh, technology, but there's companies working on it to where you would be able to put in just a pair of contacts and have information overlaid, you know, right directly into your eyes, which I don't know how everybody Lovely. feels about that, that's, I think I'd want to wait for a couple of generations of that before I did it. But uh, how would you feel about that? Would you want to wear the contacts? Well, so that's a good question. I used to wear contacts. Um, I think like, 
I think I'd be more okay with that than like, I just feel like first it would be contacts. And then next thing, like some doctors would start putting it in LASIK and that would just really be freaky. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I guess, you know, one of my friends told me that it's not a good idea to put uh, AirPods in your ears all the time because it causes some, like, it's, it's not good for your health. But like, what about having something so close to your eyeball? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'd want to see some tests on it before before I did it myself. I mean, the idea is really interesting. Just it is. To, you know, how, how that would, would go. But um, yeah, I think I would want to wait a little bit. I mean, I would be maybe more into wearing glasses as long as they didn't look ridiculous. Um, I might I might wear the glasses. If you could have yeah, it in just like a normal pair cool. of sunglasses or something, I would do that. That'd be cool. Yeah. I've been, I Have you seen those sunglasses where I think Bose makes them, right? Sunglasses and they have like the speakers. Those are mm -hmm. pretty I think the sunglasses would be good. But you're right. I think the contact lens thing, that'd be pretty interesting to see if, if that would work. But it would certainly make, you know what would be really fun, Greg? This is what we should do, right? Once this technology got, we should like get planted somewhere by United Airlines, somewhere in the world and see if we can figure out how to get back home. <laughs> this is why you're a genius, Winnie. This is, this is exactly what we need to be doing. Is <laughs> I would be totally <laughs> down with that. That I've would played, be like I've played GeoGuessr a lot. That's that game online where they drop you on. I don't know if you played that. It's like a Google Maps game where they plant you. You just show up somewhere in the world, and you have to figure out where you are and guess. So I think I'm pretty good at that. So I feel like I could be good at this. If this is I feel like that, yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like I'd want to be on your team for that. That that sounds really good, Craig. All right, anything else you got to share? Because this is pretty awesome. This is a lot. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to bring up, and this is uh, not something you can go out and buy now, but it is a study that's being conducted. I think it's University College London, if I'm saying that correct. And forgive me if, I, if I'm saying that in the wrong order, but they are doing a study oh. related to a, a pro robotic prosthesis for um, a third thumb. And so this was designed uh, by this, uh, this woman, I, I wanna get her name right, but this is Danny Claude. I'll, I'll double check, make sure that I have her name correct. But she, um, she designed this thing. Yeah, Danny Claude. So she designed this. And now what they're doing is they wanted to see how people interact with it, how their brain actually interacts with it. So you can control this thing with your actually big toes. So there's a, some kind of a wireless device in there where you can manipulate it. And they, they gave these people the, uh, this thing for uh, several days and had them wear it for several hours each day. And they started using it so much, and then they studied their brain waves that their brains actually started incorporating it in and thinking it was a part of them. Like it didn't, it, it just, it adapted to it surprisingly quick Whoa. to where they're doing all this. Yeah, you see them like doing, drinking different things, like holding cups, mixing things, and just figuring out these different use cases. It's really interesting to just think that the, the brain can adapt that fast to where Whoa. it thinks that's part of it. A third thumb, Greg? That's bananas. Yeah, it's, it's I'm bonkers. I'm in shock right now. I don't even know what to say. A third I, thumb. I was trying to think, you know, at first it's like, I don't know, why would I ever want that? And I'm like, okay, looking at some of the videos, I'm like, I can kind of see see where they're going with this. You can you can do a lot of extra things with it. And then the idea from there is, you know, if, if humans can handle that and our bodies adapt to that so much, what's next? Like what's down the line? What else can we, A third can we leg. handle? Third a leg, second, a second head. Yeah, Doctor Octopus I mean, like, things. Why you know, stop I mean, there? Yeah, yeah. It's we're one step away from Doctor Octopus. I think is what it is. Some ten robotic tentacles coming out. But I mean, it's it's <laughs> pretty it's pretty interesting seeing seeing you know just how quickly some of these things are developing. Okay, so then here's the question for those like I know right now Cross X Spider on YouTube is like, wait, what? Okay, I'm curious for those of you who are watching. Based on what Greg just shared with you, what extra piece of your body would you want? Because, I mean, I think a second head would be super helpful, right? Maybe you could, like, <laughs> you know, you could have a conversation with yourself, but nobody's yeah. around. Um, but, uh, yeah, third thumb. I don't know. That that's, that's, that's on the list of interesting, Greg. Yeah, it's going into some sci-fi territory, some comic book. As a comic yeah. book nerd, I mean, I think I want the Falcon wings. That's probably what I would want, um, you know, attached. But okay, yeah, know, we, who knows? Uh, yeah. wings would be, be cool. You know, right? They'd be fun, <laughs> but we'll see where it goes. But it's an interesting study for sure. <laughs> that's a really interesting study, and you know, it's it's interesting. All the things you, that I, I think, all the things that you talked about today, 
just think 10 years ago, we would have never even, I mean, you're right. It would probably be a, in a comic book. That would have been cool. But yeah, this is, this is so, so interesting. On top of all the other cool stuff that you tell us about, Greg, all the time. But thank you. Greg, this is crazy. This is our first show. I'm first still one. It feels so natural. It feels like we've been doing this for years. I mean, like, you know. It does. Yeah. I mean, this is so much fun. And I'm, I'm so glad, you know, that people are tuning in. And now we can talk about it and share it and, and let everybody know about it. And, yes. Um, you know, and all the things that are on the horizon for it. It's just, it's a lot of fun. And, I, you know, thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining here for this for this first episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will tell you, selfishly, I have wanted a co-host, and I don't even know how many days and years and months. Um, and you know, so this was like, yes. I yeah. Know. I remember. I remember telling someone like, I, I, Greg would be so awesome, but you know, and uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. It, we, we've hap It's happened now. It's a thing now. It's a, it's a thing, thing now. <laughs> it's the day now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need a we need a favor. We need your help. We would love it if you could share our first show out with all your friends on social media because you know, like anything else, it's like it's like something so new and so exciting. And all the things that Greg shared with us today, these are the things we want other people to to get in on this. So we're gonna continue to stream this. Let us know what you would love to see us share in the future, other topics, other guests as well. We, we plan to have a lot of really fun guests on the show as well. I don't know, Greg, what else do you think we should be doing? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's great feedback. You know, let, let us know about that. You know, we can go um, we can go so many different directions. And like you said, interviews, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, we're we're growing this as as you're watching, you know, as you're seeing it, we're figuring things out too, as you do with the new show. So it's a lot of fun and just uh yeah share it let other people know about it shoot us questions comments anything like that uh, we're open for all of that so whatever you want to say um please do like it, it would be great to hear from you it would be great to hear from you indeed thank you greg and and cross x fighter is saying uh sharing is caring and that is so so true and what we want to do also because this is our first show make it really special to you you know for those of you who want to get in on the behind the scenes and find out special guests for coming that are coming on the show or perhaps other fun things that we'll be doing giveaways and all that definitely send either greg or myself a direct message on any of the social media platforms that you're watching us on right now we're actually going to create a special prize of it a group and now it's, it's probably going to sit on twitter so hopefully you're on twitter um uh, but you, as you can see greg is at greg nibbler i'm at winnie sun send us a message and we'll try to add you into that group and we'll make sure that as it grows we'll continue to grow that group because we want to make sure that you know how vip you are and how important you are to this process and i don't know it's like it's so amazing greg i'm so grateful to start this journey with you and um i guess yeah. that's the same. Yeah. I guess we have to figure out how we wrap up the shows too. We haven't figured that out yet. Well, I, I feel like um, you should do that because you're better. <laughs> well, thank you, Winnie. I am so excited. And you know, you, you just kind of spelled it all out there for everybody and really appreciate everyone joining us. We'll be doing this show uh, every week. So time now, I, I think Thursday is at 2.30 PM Pacific uh, for, for going forward. If that changes, we'll let you know. Uh, but otherwise, we'll be here each week and send us those suggestions. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you to Curtis. Uh, great job at producing. And uh, and both the teams, for, for both Winnie and myself, appreciate all of you. And thanks for tuning in. And we'll be back next week with another Thank episode you, of The Loop. And so wrap. Well, we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in.